Good afternoon, nurses. Good afternoon, colleagues. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you what are the processes I have undertaken in order to be able to take NCLEX in the state of Washington. All right. However, before that, allow me to introduce myself briefly. So my complete name is Dennis I. Tuburo. I graduated first with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology in Catanduanes State University. This was back in 2008. And then after that, I have worked for almost uh, 10 years before I decided to uh, enroll in a nursing program at Our Lady of Fatima University in Valenzuela City. So I graduated on um, BS Nursing last July 2021. And then uh, last November 2021, when I took my local board and um, lucky enough to be ranked four in the recently uh, concluded um, NLE last November 2021. So after passing my local board examination in the Philippines, then I decided to start processing my application for NCLEX in the state of Washington. And, you know, passed my NCLEX last August 2nd of 2022. All right. So let's go ahead and start kung ano ba yung mga process na ginawa ko in order to qualify okay, for NCLEX examination in the state of Washington. Okay, so first, um, the first process would be credential evaluation. Uh, the Board of Nursing in the state of Washington have three accredited um, companies or third-party companies in terms of evaluating your credentials. Number one would be the CGFNS International, Second is yung Education Records Evaluation or yung tinatawag na ERES or ERES. And the third one is uh, Joseph Sidney and Associate Incorporated International Education Consultant. Uh, in terms of deciding kung anong uh, third uh, party company yung gagamitin ko uh, pagdating sa credential evaluation since I'm not really familiar with um, ERES and yung, the, yung Joseph Sidney and Associate Incorporated, mas um, nababasa ko online yung CGFNS International. That was the reason na I decided to go with CGFNS International. Um, so ano-ano ba ang mga steps Okay, that you have to do in order to proceed with your credential evaluations under CGFNS International. First, okay, you need to register sa kanilang website. This is the link. And by the way, all the links that I'll be discussing in this video, I'll be posting all the links in the description below. So feel free to check the different links in the description box. All right, so going back, you need to register first with CGFNS website. So ito siya, ito yung pinaka website. And then you just have to enter your email address and then click continue. And then you will be asked again to enter your email address. So just re-enter your email address and then uh, click uh, next. After that, the CGFNS will be sending you like an email confirmation. Okay, so you just have to click on the email na receive nyo, just click the link in order for you to continue with your registration sa website ng CGFNS. Alright? So, and then, ito siya. So, bali, uh, this is the email confirmation, uh, CGFNS email, international email verification that I have received from uh, CGFNS. So, as I have mentioned earlier, just click on the link. Okay, so as you can see, this link will expire in 30 minutes. So, and you will also be given like a security code in this email. So just click the link na provided for you to be able to continue in creating your account with CGFNS. All right. Now, after you have created your um, account with CGFNS, 
it is now for you to complete your profile. So the picture that you see a uh, nurses in the presentation, ito yung bali pinaka dashboard when you already have a CGFNS international account. Now to continue in creating your profile, all right? On the upper uh, right, okay, you'll see my dashboard, my profile, my messages, learning center, and shopping cart. So you just need to click with your my profile. And by the way, you'll be given a CGFNS identification number. So you need to um, take note of that um, identification number because you need that whenever you will be contacting CGFNS, let's say for a follow-up or if you have any questions. Okay, so going back in completing your profile, just click my profile, okay, to start with your, uh, it, to start in creating your uh, profile in CGFNS account. So you have a lot of information to fill up in creating your profile. And uh, of course, you need to provide your personal information. Okay, you also have to provide your contact information. And then if you already have like an employment um, history, so you also have to provide that information. Let's say, for example, you've been working as a nurse already, may it be in the Philippines or abroad, then this is where you declare, okay, your, uh, what's this, your working experiences as a nurse. And then next, you also have to provide specialty certification information if in any case you have any specialty certification. In my case, kasi I do not have any specialty certification. So, kinlik ko lang yung do not apply or does not apply because there is that option. So, you just click if you do, if you do not have any specialty certification information. And then next, you also have to provide your continuing education or revalidation in case you already have a continuing education. But then in my case, I do not have any continuing education. So I just click does not apply again. All right. So aside from this information, you also have to provide your licensure uh, registration information under licensure registration information this is pretty much your license information your license number issued by prc when was your license issued or or when is the expiration of license so that's pretty much the information in this um in this page and then after that you also have to provide the information about licensure registration examination. So dito, it's just asking whether you have taken the local board exam in the Philippines or uh, and whether you passed the exam or not. Okay, so yun lang yung questions dito. And then uh, you proceed right away to your higher tertiary education information. Okay, so this is about your, uh, I think your um, schooling and uh, your university when you enrolled to your uh, BS nursing program. And then general education information is just all about, I think I have just um, put here yung my, uh, my high school, you know, uh, when I started uh, with my first year high school and when did I graduate with uh, in high school. So yun lang yung natatandaan kong information. Tapos, there is also the English language proficiency test. So let's say, for example, is IELTS. If you already have an IELTS, then you can provide the information. But then in my case, when I started with my registration and my um, profile, I do not have any um, English language proficiency uh, test results yet. So I just um, skip this part. And then after that, then you'll be able to see the personal profile summary. So ito yung pinaka-summary nung ginawa mong profile under your CGFNS account. Alright? So after you have completed and creating your profile, it's time for you to what? It is time for you to purchase yung tinatawag natin na credential evaluation service by CGFNS International. Now, how would you do that, nurses? So going back again to your dashboard, okay, on the upper right corner, makikita mo yung shopping cart. So this is the one, um, I box it in orange para mas makita ninyo. So just click 
uh, yung shopping cart. And then you'll be directed to the next page, no? Which is um, the page na kung saan you'll see all the services offered by CGFNS International. So make sure to, to check or make sure to choose yung Credential Evaluation Services or yung CES. As you can see in the PowerPoint presentation, this is like the third service under the name of service. So just click on that and then click Continue or Next. After you click on Next, uh, in the event na direct kayo sa page na to, which is yung Credential Evaluation Service Order Eligibility, kinakailangan nyo lang mag-add ng recipient. So ito, click nyo lang si Add Recipient, as you can see in the PowerPoint presentation. So after you click on the Add Recipient, ikiklik nyo lang si, hahanapin nyo si Nursing Commission, um, what's that? Yung nur but, um, parang Nursing Care, ano, Nursing Commission, <laughs> dakalimutan ko. <laughs> Wala yung ano, hanapin nyo lang yung sa Board of Nursing ni Washington. It's gonna be N ano to? NCQAC ata. <laughs> okay, so Nursing Care Quality Assurance Commission. So yun yung pinaka-name ng uh, Board of Nursing in the state of Washington. O ulitin ko, that would be Nursing Care Quality Assurance Commission. Okay. <laughs> okay, then after you add the recipient, so just click on next. And then ito. So you will be able to direct it sa subtype niya. So meron kayong makikitang dalawang CES nurses. So we have the CES professional report application and we have the CES academic report application. Okay, so make sure Okay, make sure na ang pipiliin yung nurses would be the CES Professional Report Application. Uh, during my time, I purchased CES uh, last January 12 of 2022 and it cost me like $390. But then I believe uh, meron ng changes in terms of the prices. Um, CGF Finance International increased the price from $390 to $420 if I am not mistaken. Anyway, the price should be there, okay, when you purchase CES. Makikita nyo kung magkano yung price ng CES as of this time, okay? And ito na lang yung picture na nalagay ko nurses because, you know, I can no longer, when I access my CGF and his um, online account, hindi na siya binibigay since I already have an issued CES report. Wala na tong option na to. So good thing I have an old picture. So this is exactly what you will see when you are purchasing the CES. All right, so we just click the box for 390 or 420 whatever the price is for the CES professional report application. All right, and then you click next. So after of course you click on next, then um you it will be uh it will direct you to another page na kung saan you have to enter your uh, payment details, like what kind of card you will be using, may it be a Visa, Master, or Amex card, it depends on your nurses, and then just have to click submit, no? After clicking submit, okay, then that means, okay, successful, pag naging successful ang purchase yun ng CES, that means you already have the availed the CES professional report application. So once um you have submitted your payment and it was successful, just go back to your dashboard. And then sa, dash, sa pinaka dashboard new nurses, scroll down, makikita nyo dapat tong option na to or tong nakikita nyo sa PowerPoint presentation. You have your order number, kailan mo pinurchase or yung order date, and then kung ano yung service that you availed with CGFNS. So with, um, okay, that's gonna be credential evaluation services for a CES professional report application. And then of course, I already have my report status dito kasi nga tapos na ako report issued. So sa inyo, bagbago pa lang, wala pa yan. And then I should see the purchase price and then also the receipt and PDF. Alright? 
And then since you have already purchased successfully the CES Professional Report application, then you should also be able to get the different forms. You know, yung mga forms na gagamitin mo in terms of what? In terms of sending all the documents needed for CGFNS International to verify all your credentials. So how would you do that? Diba dito sa service order details, okay, nakabox siya in orange. So, ikiklik nyo lang yan. Okay, so after you click the CES Professional Report application, you'll be directed into the next page na kung saan makikita mo yung different forms. So, you, you will have three separate forms no One form that will be for your for the university kung saan you took your bachelor of science in nursing program one form para sa PRC and then another form para sa high school diploma nyo all right so let's take a look on the different forms nurses so first we have this form which will be going to the university all right so ito siya. It, this is how it looks so <laughs> ano tinakpan ko lang yung mga important details so but then this is Ano to ha? Bali yung first page na to. Uh, this is the first page. I think um, ang pages ng form that will be given to the university will be a total of four pages. Sa first page lang kayo merong gagawin. And ano yung gagawin yung sa first page? You just have to sign. Alright? And then put the date kung kailan nyo kung kailan kayo nag-sign ng form na to. Kasi itong your, your name, your name of school, the dates were uh, when you attended your um, nursing program in your university, your birthday, email, telephone number, and mailing address. Bali, automatic si CGFNS na yung naglalagay niya. So you just have to sign the first page and then uh, put the date when you signed. Okay, there's a form. And then just submit it with your uh, university. Okay, then university will fill up the information sa form na to. Hindi kayo yung magpi-fill up o ulitin ko, it has to be your registrars. Kung sino man yung responsible in terms of filling up this form sa registrar's office nyo, then siya po ang magpi-fill up at hindi po kayo. Alright? And then, you know, just wait for your school na in-notify kayo na ready na yung form and of course the documents like your transcript of records. In my case, I included my transcript of records, yung syllabus ng nursing program, including yung uh, clinical duties or clinical hours, yung summary ng RLE that's also included plus this form. And then ang mangyayari, it depends sa usapan yung nurses because when I submitted my um tawag dito when i submitted my credentials from my university bali si Fatima lang ang nagprepare ng lahat ng documents nagfill up ng form and then nilagay na lang nila sa isang envelope including yung address nung uh, CGFNS and then yung center it has to be your school Okay, hindi kayo ang magiging sender. Sender will be your school or your university. And then ang ginawa, ako yung nag-send na lang sa DHL. Okay, ginamit kong courier in sending the documents is DHL. And pero ang sender pa rin is si uh, tawag dito si university ko. All right, which is Our Lady of Fatima University. And then dun sa envelope, I just made sure na nakalagay din dun yung kanilang official seal just to make sure. So it cost me or almost 2000 sa sending lang ng uh, document, of course, from my university. All right. And then next, we also have the form that will be going to PRC. So just like, of course, with the form na sinabmit ninyo or isasubmit nyo sa inyong university, uh, the same thing din dito sa PRC. Magsasign lang kayo and then ilagay nyo lang yung date kung kailan kayo nag-sign. Okay, and then um, give this form to PRC. Papaano? Diba? For you to be able to um, to have an appointment Kina, uh, just uh, log into your Larry's account. Natatandaan pa si Larry's account. And then mag-appointment lang kayo dun for state board verification. Choose state board verification under Larry's. And then I think you have to pay 75 pesos. And then choose the date and time ng appointment. And go to PRC together with this form. 
And, you know, photocopy nyo na rin yung license information nyo. Photocopy nyo na rin yung pinaka passport nyo. I also photocopied my, uh, patawag dito, board of rating and board of passing just to make sure. Yung mga necessary documents na po pwedeng hingiin, just make sure na meron kayong photocopy so you'll be ready when you get to uh, PRC. And then, ang mangyayari dito, hindi siya agad-agad Uh, tawag dito, masisend ni PRC. So when you get to PRC, just have to submit this form. Um, but you before you do that, you will be asked by the PRC representative na pumunta muna kay, for example, DHL, kasi DHL yung ginagamit kong courier when I uh, you know send my my documents. no So I went first to, I was advised to go to DHL. Pinagbayad ako nung DHL. It's almost 2,000 also. And then, meron lang silang scheduling. Hindi siya agad-agad mapapadala. So you have to take note. Nakalagay naman kay DHL kung kailan isisend And, okay, yung inyong information from PRC to CGFNS. Ando nakalagay ang date. So, after you paid with DHL, then uh, you go, of course, to um, the PRC representative and then ibibigay mo sa kanila yung receipt ng payment mo with DHL and you're all good to go. Okay, ibig sabihin, tapos ka na kay PRC. All right, And then, Uh, sa PRC naman, I mean, after PRC then you also have to submit your high school diploma. So as you can see in the um the presentation, make sure na makiklik ninyo yung mga nas, ayan, yung merong circle na orange because this is a diploma issued from the secondary school, particularly what, where? In Southeast Asia. And make sure to sign... Okay, and then put the date again kung kailan yun to si nine. So in for my high school diploma, what I did was I request since I no longer have my high school diploma, so I just requested for another copy of a high school diploma from my school. Okay, and then I asked them to put yung kanilang yung aming ano to yung school seal, yung official seal ng school, just to make sure talaga na uh, authentic yung Um, high school diploma that I'll be sending to CGF and is international. So when I had, when I received the the copy of my high school diploma together with this form, I went again to DHL and then send. Okay, in an envelope. So it has to be sent to CGFNS. And then yung sender, hindi po kayo. Ang sender would be yung inyong high school pa den. All right. And then went of course to DHL and then sent the document or my high school diploma with this form and I paid almost 2,000 pesos again just to send my high school diploma. So I probably have spent, um, tawag dito, I probably have spent almost 6,000 pesos for my, uh, to be able to send my documents from the university, from PRC and my high school diploma. All right, so after everything has already been sent, Okay, may receive kayong confirmation from DHL with your tracking number, of course, sa mga documents na sinend nyo. So, you have the option to what? You have the option to track yung status ng delivery. Okay, now, I'd like to set your expectations, nurses, na ang evaluation, okay, ang evaluation ng CGF and international will only start or will only begin once they already have received the very last document. Uh, in my case kasi, parang I, ano to, I sent both my high school diploma and my um, documents from the university at the same time. Okay, I think if I'm not mistaken. So mas naunang nakarating kay CGF and his international yung high school diploma and my documents from the university. Kasi nga, for PRC, madidelay talaga siya because they have their schedule. Sa dabi ba naman nung ano, nag nagre-request ng state board verification, that's why they have the schedule depending kung kailan kayo pupunta ng PRC. Okay, so delayed siya. So my high school diploma and then my... What's this? My documents from the university. Nasensya probably by end of January 2022. And if I'm not mistaken, my um my PRC documents probably 
um, na receive ng CGF and his international. I'm not really sure. I forgot the date, but uh, it's probably the last week of February or first week of March 2022. Okay, so that's when the verification started right after CGF and his international received the very last document. Okay, baka kasi mamaya, di ba, when you check your status sa CGF and his account, nyo, sasabihin nyo na, ano ba yan? Bakit walang ano? Bakit hindi umuusad yung process or yung evaluation? Eh, nareceive naman na ni CGF and his yung high school diploma nyo or your documents from your university. So just to set your expectation, aantay ni CGF and his na maging kumpleto lahat ng documents nyo before they will start with their, with their evaluation. Okay, so after after everything has already been sent, you know, CGF and has received all your documents, then it's going to be waiting game. <laughs> Dito lang, ito lang yung pinakahalos ano to, pinaka matagal sa process in terms of your NCLEX application with the uh, uh, Board of Nursing in the state of Washington. Remember, I purchased CAS. January 12th of 2022. Okay, and then CGFNS have completed and issued my report May 28th of 2022. So it, it's like what? It's like four months, more than four months or almost five months actually. Yung naging um, sa first step pa lang ng credential evaluation with CGFNS. So, when you check your account, uh, CGFNS account, ito yung makikita nyo, you have an idea kung saan na ba or ano na yung progress in terms of your credentials evaluation. So, ibig sabihin pag lahat green, okay, that means that all the documents, okay, that you met, okay, lahat ng uh, tawag dito requirements. Okay, so pag all green, then ano to, okay na yon. Aantayin nyo na lang si uh, report na may issue ni si GFNS sa Board of Nursing ng Washington State. Pero pag hindi pa siya green, makikita nyo either red. Ibig sabihin pag hindi pa red, uh, si G I mean, ibig sabihin pag red pa lang siya, si GFNS is still waiting for your documents. Okay, tapos pag yellow, if I'm not mistaken, parang ready for evaluation na pag yellow. Okay, and then ibig sabihin ng green, okay na yan, evaluate na ng CGFNS yan. Alright, so after evaluation, pag nakita nyo na lahat green na, okay, pag nakita nyo lahat green na, so ibig sabihin mag-aantay na lang kayo. I think ang inantay ko na lang, probably have... um. Tawag dito. I think mga two weeks before, um, pero kasi sinasabi nila six weeks pa daw before may issue yung, yung report. So I think we have completed my, uh, nag-green na tong lahat ng status ng docu documents ko probably by last week of April. And then I contacted uh, CGFNS no, and they were telling me na, oh, you have to wait like six more weeks for us to be able to issue the report of your credentials evaluation to the Board of Nursing in the Washington State. Sabi ko, ba't ganun ang tagal? Pero after that, they were able to issue, hindi naman umabot ng six weeks, they were able to issue the uh, report Okay, ng May 28th of 2022. Alright, so para makuha mo yung copy ng uh, report, okay, just go back of course to the dashboard and then scroll down nyo lang. So ito, makikita nyo to, uh, the recipient information wherein this is the Washington State Nursing Care Quality Assurance Commission. Okay, ayan, so ap applicant copy link. So you just have to click on the link. Click here to view a copy of your CS report. So if you want to download or even print it out, you also have to do that. Okay, so it uh, issue one date was May 28th of 2022nd. And then ay nakalagay, was it that was the or is the report issued? Yes. Ibig sabi na report na set na na issued na nila yung report and then kung kailan ang expiration nung CES report nyo. So it's just gonna be one year. So it's um mine would would expire on May 28th of 2023. All right. And how I think however you have the option to extend. 
Okay, you have the option to extend and save your information mo with CGFNS, but you have to pay an extra for that. Okay, in case naman na gusto I'm not really sure how much it would cost, no? Uh, you always uh, have the option to check on how much it would cost sa website ng CGFNS. Okay? And then this is how it looks, no? Yung report. So ito yung pinaka-report na binigay sa akin or na-download ko sa CGFNS online account ko. Uh, it's uh, mga ano to, five pages. So if you have to take a look, talagang delayed ang processing ng CGFNS, maybe because of COVID. Ito o, oh, date of report, April 20. Diba? Oh, tama nga ako, April 20. So, uh, that's almost end of month, last week of uh, April, nung natapos nila yung evaluation. But then again, it took them until May 28 para may issue to support of nursing ng Washington State. Alright? And then, since you are good with your credential evaluation, you're good to go with um, the next process, next step. Ano nang gagawin nyo? You have now to apply, uh, you have now to process your Department of Health online application. Now, ang mangyayari nito, future, ano to, nurses, no? Do not wait. Okay, kasi sa akin, because I really have no idea. I really have no idea kung ano to, ano yung pinaka-process. I was only relying sa ano to sa website ng Department of Health ng Washington by that time and sobrang confusing ng information. So after my credential has been issued at nasend siya sa nasend na siya kay ano to kay Board of Nursing, I waited probably 5 days. Kasi akala ko, I will be receiving an email from the Board of Nursing confirming that they have received my credential evaluation report only to find out na wala naman palang ganung isi-send. So, um, you have na find out ko na wala naman ganun kasi I, I, I did call their um, customer service number and then I asked only to find out na I should have started with my uh, online application. So, uh, reminder para maiwasan ang delay, okay? Uh, right after your credential report has been issued to the Board of Nursing of Washington State, then proceed with your online application right away. This is the website. Again, this website will be uh, posted in the description below. So just make sure to uh, check the description box. Alright, so ito yung makikita nyo, ito yung pinaka-website, ang tawag dito is SAW, Secure Access Washington. So make sure to sign up, alright, since wala, probably wala pa kayong, most probably wala pa kayong account. So you have to sign up in order for you to create your own account. Now, I would suggest na gumamit kayo ng ano, no? gumamit kayo ng laptop in terms of uh, accessing yung Secure Access Washington portal or website. Kasi, anito, when I was doing this, tinry ko muna siya sa phone, eh, hindi ko nakikita yung sign up. Sabi ko, why is it that login? Nakikita ko lang is username and password login and then submit. There's no option to sign up. Only to find out na kinakailangan nakamaximize talaga and dapat ano siya, PC, computer mode, para lumabas tong sign up na to. Baka kung ano, mangyari din sa inyo, mal ma maloko kayo or malokaloka kayo kakahanap asan yung sign up. So, maximize and it has to be in PC mode or uh, computer mode para makita nyo si sign up. So, just proceed with your sign up or, or signing up in order to create your uh, Secure Access Washington account or SAW account. Alright? So, after that, ayan. So, after you have created your account, then Log into your SAW account. Ito yung pinaka ano na, ito na yung pinaka simplified process on how you are going to proceed with your online application with the Department of Health. So log in with your SAW account. And then after logging in, just click on add a new service. All right. Then after you add a new service, you click you see. I would like to browse a list of services by agency. Nakalagay yan doon. Okay, so just look for I would like to browse a list of services by agency. And then after you clicked that, choose 
Department of Health. After choosing Department of Health, just scroll hanggang makita nyo si Alen, hanggang makita nyo ang online application portal. So after you ano, after you have seen the online application portal, click on that and then click apply and then i-click nyo lang si okay. All right? So after you click okay, you will be returned to your SAW account page. So yung pinaka ano nyo to, pinaka dashboard kumbaga ng SAW account nyo. And then sa dashboard nyo dapat makikita nyo yung alin, you should see online application portal provided by Department of Health. All right? So dapat makikita nyo yan sa inyong dashboard. And then whenever you are ready with your application, so when you are ready to apply, just click access now, follow the online instructions, and proceed with your application. All right, so just fill up whatever information that you will be asked in your online application. Okay, now set your ex to set your expectations. Nurses, during uh, your online application, my option done about social security number. So if you do not have any social security number, okay, ilagay nyo lang na wala pa kayong social security number. Ang mangyayari non nurses, sorry, after you after you click no social uh, security number, hindi kayo temporarily makakapag-proceed with your online application. Okay? Again, uulitin ko, after you have chosen no social security number in the process of your online application, you will temporarily unable to proceed in completing the application because of that. Ano ang gagawin yung nurses? Okay, what I did, I called these numbers. So you can, you know, choose any of these numbers. But I called uh, positive 1-360-236-4703. That's the number I called. Or you have the option to call, use the second number, which is positive 1-360-236-4738. So call any of these numbers and then wait for an available representative. Okay, once you have um, a representative available on the line, just let them or just inform the representative that you're on the process with your online application and that, you know, uh, you're unable to proceed because you do not have any social security number yet. And ang gagawin ng representative, the representative will bypass, okay, will bypass yung social security number. And after the representative bypassed yung process about social security number, you should be able to receive a confirmation email. Okay, ito, yung nakikita niyo sa screen, this should be the same email that you will be receiving. If you receive this, that means na na-bypass na ni representative yung process about social security number and the representative himself or herself should be able to tell you whether na-bypass na or hindi. Okay, so pag na-bypass, uulitin ko, you should receive this kind of email. And then just click on the link to log back in. Okay, after you log back in, okay, you will be able to continue with your online application and complete the process. All right. So um, also um, the payment, by the way, nurses, um, it's an online application. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I paid $120 and then there are um there was minimal taxes roughly around maybe two dollars and fifty cents. I'm not really sure the exact amount, but the amount I paid for my online application is ranging from one hundred twenty two to one hundred twenty five dollars. That's including the fee and taxes already. Okay, so that's also included in your process in completing your online application. All right, so after you have completed your online application, you should be receiving an email confirmation just like what you can see in your screens. Okay, so your online application has been submitted and we have received your online application for registered nurse license. 
And then you will be giving nurses a credential number. Take note of your credential number. It's RN followed by um, numbers. All right. This credential number is the information you need. Okay. If you uh, if you um if you will follow up or if you need to contact the board of nursing for any reason, they would always ask for your credential number. So take note of that information. All right. So after the um, what's this? After the online application has been submitted, then um, you also have to what? You also have to email. Okay, to send an email, uh, nurses. Anong email ang isesend nyo? Kinakailangan nyo pong isend ang email nyo about the result of your IELTS or English proficiency exam. Kasi po, unlike any other states, dito sa state of Washington, for you to be able to take NCLEX requirement na ano, requirement ng na ipasa mo ang English proficiency exam mo like IELTS. In my case, I already have um passed my IELTS kasi while I was waiting for uh, CGFNS to complete the credentials verification, I decided to take the IELTS na. So that would save me time. Para pag na complete na ni uh, CGFNS yung evaluation or yung credentials um evaluation ko, at least I already have my IELTS result, di ba? So it will save me some time. So I would advise na ganun din yung gawin nyo. Though, ang IELTS naman may expiration na two years, but I think that should be enough hanggang sa makomplete nyo yung online application with a Washington State. Okay, so after submitting your online application, going back nurses, you, ne you need to email, okay? You need to email the result of your IELTS and together with that result, i-attach nyo rin ang form ng declaration of social security number. Because again, wala kayong social. So, the Board of Nursing will ask you to submit that form also. Ipapakita ko sa inyo ang form later on. But this is my e the email that I sent. No? Uh, I will also uh, emphasize yung email address na ginamit ko in sending my IELTS and the uh, declaration of no social security number. Alright? So, just indicate in your email that you are sending your um, what's this? The report form number for your IELTS and the declaration of no social security number. So, ito siya. Ito yung pinaka form, okay, nung declaration of no social security number. This form is available on the website ng Washington State Department of Health. All right, i-type nyo lang doon ang declaration of no social security number form. So you have to, of course, um, put your name, you have to sign uh, your address also, and then kung saan mo siya sinign and kung kailan mo sinign yung declaration of no social security number. And again, it has to be sent together with your IELTS results. Okay, it has to be sent to the following emails. I would advise nurses now when you are sending email, may it be an inquiry, may it be, uh, your, you know, regardless if you're sending a document to the state of uh, Washington Board of Nursing, always use these two emails all the time just to make sure na lahat sila na i-inform no, kung ano yung sinisend nyo. So, we have the Nursing International at doh.wa.gov. And the second email is nursing at doh.wa.gov. Mas responsive sila dito sa Nursing International at doh.wa.gov. Okay, mas, mas na nagre-respond dito. But then again, as I have mentioned, always use these two email addresses in sending inquiries or documents, whatever you will be sending via email. Use these two email addresses. All right. Okay. So after I have com I, after completing the online application and sending the results of my IELTS as well as the declaration of no social security number form, um waiting game olet. 
So I have completed my and submitted my online application sa Department of Health ng um, Washington State. That was June 2nd of 2022. And then after three weeks, nag-follow up ako. All right. So after I followed up, uh, pagkatapos ng three weeks, then I was informed. Okay, si ito, si Pam Smith, siya yung ano, siya yung the entire duration ng pag ng pag follow up ko or if i have question siya parati ang sumasagot sa mga emails ko all right so after 3 weeks since i have completed and submitted my online application nag inquire ako kay Pamela so i ask whether my online application has been approved or not by the board of nursing ng Washington state and then luckily fortunately <laughs> <laughs> yung education ko daw sa ayan as you can see nakahighlight sa green good morning Washington advisor has approved your education to test you uh, education to test you need to register with person view at www.personview.com slash nclex within 30 days to continue processing your file once you have uh, registered please email me so I can make you eligible to test so Ayan, so na-approved na ng state, ng Board of Nursing ng Washington State ang education ko and um, tawag dito, I was advised already to register sa person view. Take note, you only have 30 days. Okay, you have 30 days para mag-register kay person view. Kasi ayan, oh, within 30 days, you need to register sa person view to continue processing what? Your file. Alright, so since... Approved na yung, uh, tapos na yung credential report ng CGFNS, na approved na rin yung education natin ng Board of Nursing ng Washington State. Then the next process is all about your what? All about your registration sa person view for NCLEX na. So that's the next step. Okay, papaano Nurse Denny? So just go to this website. Okay, again, the website or the link will be in the description box. So make sure to check the description box for the different links, okay, that I'll be posting. Uh, I'll be posting together with uh, this video. Okay, so ayan, naka-highlight na in orange box again. Just click register now. Okay, and then enter your information. All right, whatever information that will be asked for you to be able to what? For you to be able to complete your registration process with person view. Now, after, after mo makapag-register, makapag-create ng account kay person view, you now, of course, you now need to, you'll be receiving, by the way, an email confirmation. So this is exactly the email that I have received. So uh, it states that your request for a web account to the NCSB and exam candidate website at, at personview.com has been processed. So this account will allow you to manage your NCSBN registration and appointments. And for your convenience, your username will also be given with this email address. So yan, tinago ko lang ang pinaka-username ko. Alright, so since you already have created your NCSBN web account, the next um, step is to what? Log in and then sa pinaka-dashboard, okay, makikita mo to si... Uh, um, start the registration process. So, ikiklik mo lang si start the registration process so you can start now with your um, registration for NCLEX. Okay, so after you click the start the registration process, you'll be directed to this uh, page. So, kinakailangan mo lang pili and nurses, you have to choose I am seeking licensure or registration in the U.S., uh, U.S. Territory or Australia. So after you click on that, you'll be directed again to the next page wherein you have the option to choose NCLEX RN or NCLEX PN. Siyempre naman, ang pipiliin mo nurses would be what? Would be the NCLEX RN. So just click on the NCLEX RN and then you'll be directed again on another page. So 
on this on this page will be you'll be asked to provide additional information so hindi lang to na meron pa na mayroon pang information needed diyan sa baba hindi ko na lang naisama sa screenshot kasi sa mahaba, mahaba siya hindi magkasya so however just please provide the additional information so ito select the nursing program from which you graduated so let's say country philippines since you're gonna graduate state province con city or you can just simply enter the program code if you are wondering what's the program code ayan na rin po nurses so that would be p h like papa hotel nine nine letter f and then one two three four five five zeros so that would be your that would be that would be the program code and just click search and then just you know fill up all the other information and click on what click on continue now after you click on continue you will be um directed to the payment app page where you have to enter your um payment information because you have to pay how much you have to pay 200 dollars for the registration for nclex yun yung pinaka fee $200. So after you have successfully completed your registration for NCLEX and successfully submitted and made the payment, you should be receiving what? You should be receiving a confirmation, an email confirmation about your registration and payment with a person view para sa yo, para sa NCLEX. Okay, now after you already have paid a uh, future, uh, I mean, after you already have paid nurses nalilito ako future nurses ko nang future nurses okay so after you already have paid okay na complete mo na yung registration for NCLEX okay kinakailangan mong mag-email okay di ba yung email addresses na sinabi ko kaganina send an email to those um email addresses informing them that you already have registered for NCLEX and you already have paid the $200. Kasi ang mangyayari, okay, whoever the representative that you will be talking to, that representative will make you eligible. Okay? Kasi ang representative, uulitin ko nurses, will make you eligible for NCLEX. Okay? So pag na-inform mo sila, gagawin nila, we, uh, they will make you eligible for NCLEX. Makikita mo rin yon sa pinaka-dashboard. Okay, sa baba ng registration process, may word doon na eligible. Okay? So, pag nakita mo yung eligible na yon, you have to wait for, you have to wait for your authorization to take that NCLEX. Yun yung tinatawag natin na ATP. And the good thing about the Board of Nursing dito sa Washington State is that sobrang bilis lang nare-receive ang ATT once you became eligible after nung um, registration and payment mo. So, sa akin, I informed Pam um, that I will have I have already completed the registration in that I already have made the payment and then sinabi niya lang sa akin na okay I'll make you eligible then and wait for the um, ATT. So then I waited for probably around uh, 5 minutes and I received my ATT that fast. Okay kasi alam ko sa ibang state uh, I'm not sure if you nurses are uh, included sa FB page ng Lifora, okay? Yung ibang ano to yung ibang state parang it takes months before they receive their authorization uh, to test or yung NCLEX authorization to test. So with um state of uh, Washington Board of Nursing sobrang bilis ko lang to na receive like 5 minutes. Literally 5 minutes within 5 minutes na receive ko na siya agad. And then dito sa authorization to test nurses, meron diyang nakalagay na authorization number. Ayan, tinakpan ko lang siya. So you will need, okay, importante ang authorization number because you need that authorization number for you to be able to schedule na your NCLEX. Okay, so whenever you're ready, so after you receive your NCLEX authorization to test, go back to person view or NC, ano to, NS, NCSBN ba, or NC, whatever, ito ba, NCSBN, go back to NCSBN and go with your, or schedule your um, exam, uh, your NCLEX, all right? So 
Ayan, so go back to your dash dashboard. Ayan na nakalagay dyan, ready to schedule. Okay, so meron dyang link. Sa akin wala na lang kasi wala dyan. Pero it has, meron dyang link of course to uh, start with your uh, tawag dito scheduling. So just click on that and then after that just, you know, choose uh, kung saan yung gustong mag-take ng exam, kung anong date, what time ang gusto nyong i-take yung NCLEX. All right. So after that, okay, after you have already uh, completed um, scheduling your NCLEX examination, you should be receiving again an email confirmation just like what you see in your screen. So NCLEX confirmation of examination appointment. So it, uh, and then yung appointment details, your order number, sorry, your exam, which is NCLEX RN. And then the candidate name, uh, your NCSBN identification number, your registration ID, and dyan nakalaga yung date and time. And then kung saan, so in my case, I already have, uh, I mean, I have scheduled my NCLEX here na sa US, dito sa Washington State ko na siya tinig. So ayan, nakikita niyo yung pinaka-address. And that was last August 2 of 2022 at 8 a.m. Pacific time. All right. So after you have received your confirmation for your uh, NCLEX appointment, then you're good to go nurses. That means you are all set. Ang gagawin nyo na lang is to continue with your preparation. Be ready with your upcoming what? Upcoming NCLEX. All right. So yan yung pinaka ano yan yung pinaka process for you to be able to take yung uh, NCLEX um dito sa state of Washington. Okay and then so um just additional information no <laughs> ikwento ko na din. <laughs> so ang nangyari is I took my NCLEX last August 2nd and then uh, after that no um I waited for like 2 days. Okay, I waited for like two days para maka makuha ko yung pinaka quick yung tinatawag na quick results kasi after 48 hours yun eh. So I waited for that and then ayon uh, sa awa ng Jaws I passed the exam last August 2nd and then um madali na rin ano madali na madali lang din ang naging pinaka process hanggang ma-receive ko yung uh, license ko kay ano to kay uh, galing kay uh, Board of Nursing ng State of Washington. So, I think I got my physical or printed license last August 15. So, diba? Uh, two, so, it, it's almost, ano, almost two weeks before I finally received my printed license from the Board of Nursing ng ano, State of Washington. Alright? So, that's the process. I hope this video is helpful kasi again during my time I had difficulty parang talagang ano to parang I was lost with the process hindi ko alam if I will do a fingerprinting and all kasi nakakalito yung website ng ano sa website ng uh, Department of Health ng Washington State so that is why I decided to uh, do this video para you know to help you uh, our, to help you guys uh, just in case you're interested in applying dito as a nurse at Washington State. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I wish you nurses all the best, all the, you know, the best things in terms of your process. All right, good luck to your journey. Kapitan nyo lang ang mga pangarap nyo. Just keep going and then you know um para maabot nyo yung inyong mga pangarap especially if you wanted to work abroad particularly here in United States all right and at the same time feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel sa so, ayan nakalagay naman sa PowerPoint presentation nurse uh, N-A-R-S, Dennis Tuburo. Okay, feel free to subscribe and share my video para mas marami ang ma-inform about the process dito sa Washington State. Okay, so enjoy the rest of your day, nurses. Um, God bless you all. Bye for now. See you on my next video.